तस्मै श्री गुरवे नमः ओम नमः शिवाय गुरवे सच्चिदानंद मूर्तये विश्वपंचाय शांताय निरालंबाय तेजसे नित्यशुभं निरावासं निराकारं निरंजनं नित्यबोधं चिदानंदं गुरु ब्रह्मा नमाम्यह ईश्वरो गुरु आत्मेति मूर्ति भेद वाग्यने व्योम वद्व्याप देहाय दक्षिणा मूर्तये नमा निधये सर्व विद्याना पिशुचे भवरोगिना गुरुये सर्व लोकाना श्री दक्षिणा मूर्तये नमा ओम श्री सत्गुरु देवा की जे जय गणेश जय गणेश जय गणेश पाहि मा श्री गणेश श्री गणेश श्री गणेश रक्षमा जय सरस्वती जय सरस्वती जय सरस्वती पाहि मा श्री सरस्वती श्री सरस्वती श्री सरस्वती रक्षमा जय श्री दुर्गा जय श्री दुर्गा जय श्री दुर्गा पाहि मा जय श्री दुर्गा जय श्री दुर्गा जय श्री दुर्गा रक्षमा जय श्री काली जय श्री काली जय श्री काली पाहि मा जय श्री काली जय श्री काली जय श्री काली रक्षमा जय श्री लक्ष्मी जय श्री लक्ष्मी जय श्री लक्ष्मी पाहि मा जय श्री लक्ष्मी जय श्री लक्ष्मी जय श्री लक्ष्मी रक्षमा सर्वन भव सर्वन भव सर्वन भव पाहि मा सुब्रमण्य 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 रक्षमा दत्तात्रेय 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 पाहि मा दत्त गुरु दत्त गुरु दत्त गुरु रक्षमा शिवानंद 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 पाहि मा शिवानंद 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 रक्षमा जय गुरु शिव गुरु हरि गुरु राम जगत गुरु परम गुरु सत गुरु शाम आदि गुरु हरि गुरुवानंदा गुरु हो चित गुरु चित माया गुरु चित माया गुरु हो जय श्री राम जय जय श्री राम जय श्री राम जय जय श्री राम जय राधे शाम जय जय राधे शाम जय राधे शाम जय जय राधे शाम जय हनुमान जय जय Thank you. 
Frustrations unto thee. Thou art omnipresent, omnipotent, and omniscient. Thou art Sachidananda. Thou art the indwell of all beings. Grant us an understanding heart, equal vision, balanced mind, faith, devotion, and wisdom. Grant us inner spiritual strength to resist temptations and to control the mind. Free us from egoism, lust, greed, anger, and hatred. Fill our hearts with divine virtues. Let us behold Thee in all these names and forms. Let us serve Thee in all these names and forms. Let us ever remember Thee. Let us be ever loyal to Thee. Let us ever sing Thy glories. Let Thy name be upon our lips. Let us abide in Thee forever and ever. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. O all-merciful Gurudev, every thought of my mind, Every emotion of my heart, every movement of my being, every feeling and every sensation, each cell of my body, each drop of my blood, all, all is yours, Gurudev, yours absolutely, yours without any reserve. Gurudev, you can decide my life or my death, my happiness or my sorrow, my pleasure or my pain. Gurudev, whatever you do with me, Whatever comes to me from you will lead me to your lotus feet. Gurudev, 
You have provided us with the best facilities in the world for our spiritual growth. May we take full advantage of this precious gift of yours, Gurudev. May we look upon the ashram and all its contents as your body and treat them with love and reverence. This, this is our heartfelt prayer to you, Gurudev. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Shama, Shiva, 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 Shiva,
ओम नमो भगवते शिवानंदाय ओम नमो भगवते शिवानंदाय ओम नमो भगवते शिवानंदाय ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ आवर डिवाइन मास्टर श्री स्वामी शिवानंद एंड पूज्य स्वामी सहाजानंद वी एक्सटेंड ए वार्म एंड कॉडियल वेलकम टू ऑल टू आवर ऑनलाइन शिवानंद डे सत्संग ए स्पेशल वेलकम टू डोनर्स वेल विशेज एंड दोज ट्यूनिंग इन फ्रॉम अब्रॉड Please be informed that this is our last online broadcast during the coronavirus pandemic period. Swami Shivananda has written of the untold glory of mass prayer. Devotees are encouraged to return to face-to-face -face satsangs going forward. Devotees abroad may access the abundant material available online via the society's YouTube channel. Om Tat Sat. Guru Bhakti Yoga by Sri Swami Shivananda. The greatest and the rarest privilege in life is to touch the lotus feet of the Master. The Guru's grace and woman's face lust belong to opposite poles. If you want one, renounce the other. The very sacred dust of the Guru's holy feet brings prosperity to the disciple. The sacred dust which comes from the life-saving feet of the Satguru is fit to be worshipped. The greatest wealth of the disciple is the sacred dust of his Satguru's lotus feet. Om Namo Bhagavate Sivanandaya. Our readings for today are taken from Swami Sivananda in pictures by Sri Swami Sivananda. Our first reading, There comes Krishna. His brilliance dazzles. His beauty captivates, His grace protects, His mercy redeems. I hear His footsteps, I know their sounds. He comes and lifts me up, He embraces and blesses. He eats my offerings, butter and sugar candy. He hears with rapture my songs of Krishna Kaneya. He dances with me now. He puts butter in my mouth. What an ineffable joy. There is a rain of flowers. Our next reading is taken from How to Get Peace of Mind by Sri Swami Sivananda. See God in all. It is God who walks in the garb of a beggar. It is he who moans in pain in the guise of the sick. Open your eyes. See him in all beings. Serve him in all. Love him in all beings. Be kind to all. Hate none. See no evil. Hear no evil. Speak no evil. Think no evil. You will soon have the vision of God. Our next reading, Less and More. Preach less, practice more, ask less, give more, talk less, pray more, indulge less, pray more, hate less, love more, judge less. Understand more, condemn less, appreciate more, constrict less, expand more, worry less, smile more, cavil less, praise more, eat less, feed more, sit less, serve more. Oh, useless tongue! What is the use of a cow which yields no milk?
What is the use of money which is not spent in charity? What is the use of a tree which does not bear fruits? What is the use of that tongue which does not recite the Lord's name? Thus saith Svananda. Our camp organizers for the wonderful program that they're giving us. We had a nice film show last night. I hope also to see it sometime when I get a little time. This morning we had a very nice cultural program. I think we all were very much moved by the beautiful way in which the little children sang. When they went up to the stage, I thought, what can these children sing? <laughs> but see how beautifully they touched our hearts. So I think we are getting a very rich uh, repast in these camps and people who are not coming are really missing something. Everything uplifts our soul, makes us forget and takes us nearer God. Let's now turn to the questions. If and when we die, is God determined? Why is suicide regarded as being sinful by all religions? See, most of these questions, you are putting it in another way, fate and free will. And this question can be answered from both the relative standpoint and from the absolute standpoint. From the absolute standpoint, everything is done by God. See, every movement is a movement of God. See, but unless you come to that stage, we have to think in terms of the relative state. See, there's free will. But from the absolute standpoint, there's no free will at all. And these questions are very difficult to answer. They're what Gurudev calls transcendental questions. We can never understand them unless we realize God. They're put in a different way. Why God created pain and how sin was created and so on and so forth. It's the ego that makes a difference. Once the ego is there, then you have got to work from the standpoint of the relative world. For example, Lord Krishna asked Arjuna to kill. As long as Arjuna felt that he killed, then there was free will. But if he felt that it was God who killed, then there was no free will at all. God was doing everything. So if he felt that he killed, then it was sin. If he felt that God killed, then it was not a sin at all. So in any case, God makes all these laws, see, and the laws operate. And yet God says that he's above everything. He has put good forces and he's put bad forces to work. The bad forces attack us, the good forces help us. And God says, well, I just put the forces there and they are going to act according to the Swadharma, the duty, that, the task that I gave them. So I am not responsible. So, however, in whatever way we try to corner God, He always tries to escape. We can never corner Him. If you say that, we tell Him that, look, you are doing everything. We answered this question, see, Yogananda answered it. He says, I'm not doing anything, I've just made my law. For example, the sun shines and to the light of the sun, you do all the wrong things. So I'm not responsible at all. So somehow God escapes and the only way to get hold of him is to try and realize him. See, then we know everything. So from the relative standpoint, suicide is regarded as sinful, from, but from the absolute standpoint, you'll have to agree that it is God who instigates the person to do that. But if the person feels that he is committing suicide, then it's a sin. But if the person actually feels that God is doing it through him, then it's not a sin. So it's the ego that creates a difference. 
ignorance. The reason why they say that suicide is no good is that only in the human birth you can realize God. Because here we can strive, even the devatas, they've got to take a human body to come upon this earth and they will be able to, and then only they can realize God. In the world of the gods, they cannot go up and they cannot go down. They cannot suffer too much, but at the same time, they cannot enjoy higher bliss. You can either go up and up or you can go down. So these questions are very difficult. They are good. They have called them transcendental questions. You can answer them from two ways. Swami Krishnananda told us one day that there was no such thing as human will. It was all divine will and that is true. But the ego that goes in there and makes it a human will. It takes the divine will and calls it a human will. So if the ego is not takes all divine will, it works at every step. So that's why we say that not a speck of dust can move without the will of God. Because everything it comes from God. Now God doesn't see things as evil. It's we who see it. But how he put this ignorance in our mind and clouded our minds and created this maya, we don't know. And if we ask him why, he says, well, that's for my fun, that's for my leela. But ultimately he says that if you want to understand me, then you must become me. He says, I am seeking myself and all that kind of contradiction, in that language God speaks. So the answer to all this question is to try and quieten the mind. When the mind is quiet, then everything will stand revealed. You'll understand things much better. When I was a little boy, you know, at that time I was not taking, being, I was not spiritual or anything, but when my father used to say that Krishna was God, then I used to think that who made that God? And if that person made that God, then who made that person? See, and start stretching the mind backward. Because people talk a lot today, they say we mustn't, we mustn't worship murtis and idols and God is all pervading, is absolute, this and that. But what is the meaning of all pervading? It's only a word. You can only understand it when all the thought waves in the mind subside. Then you'll understand what is the meaning of these words, infinity and all pervading, absolute. God is motionless and all that. So you can never understand these things unless the mind is quiet. So let us go to that source first. So let these questions come, but don't harass yourself too much with them. Shivananda 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 Satguru Deva Shivananda 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 Satguru Deva Shivananda 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 Satguru Deva Shivananda 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 Satguru Deva Shivananda Shivananda
announcements, all are lovingly invited to attend the forthcoming satsangs. Sri Gurudev's birth date satsang is on Thursday, 8 December 2022. Ganga Aarti at Shivananda Ashram Reservoir Hills is at 5.30 p.m., followed by satsang. There will be a khanda chanting from 5 a.m. until 5 p.m. Devotees are encouraged to participate in one or more of the hourly sessions. Pujya Swami Sahajananda's most sacred 15th Mahasamadhi according to the English calendar will be observed on Saturday, 10 December 2022. There will be a morning sadhana program at Shivananda Ashram, Reservoir Hills from 6 a.m. until 6.25 a.m. Satsang will be held at all our Shivananda Ashrams. Ganga Aarti at Shivananda Ashram, Reservoir Hills is at 4 p.m. followed by Satsang. Supper Prasad will be served. There will be a Khanda chanting from 5 a.m. until 4 p.m. Devotees are encouraged to participate in one or more of the hourly sessions. There will be a special Thanksgiving Satsang at Shivananda International Cultural Center, SICC, on Sunday 11 December 2022, preceding the full reopening of SICC in January 2023. There will be a morning yoga camp program from 6 a.m until 8 a.m. on this day as well. Breakfast and lunch prasad will be served. Our monthly havan for December is on Friday 30th December 2022 at Shivananda Ashram, Reservoir Hills at 4.30 p.m. Our New Year's Day satsang will be on Sunday 1st January 2023. Ganga Aarti at Shivananda Ashram, Reservoir Hills at 5.30 p.m. followed by satsang. During the most suspicious Mahasamadhi anniversary period of Pujya Swami Sahajananda, the Divine Life Society's KZN branches will be distributing 1,500 grocery hampers at an approximate cost of 350 rand each. Those wishing to contribute may do so via fundraisers or via EFT. Pujya Swamiji has given elaborate descriptions in our books of the value of the Mahamritin Jai Mantra, Agni Hotra and Sri Hanuman Chalisa. Devotees are urged to continue with these practices regularly for their own safety and protection. Agni Hotra will also help to bring rain. As per Pujya Swamiji's advice, the Mahamrityan Jai Mantra should be repeated all the time while driving. If we cannot repeat the mantra all the time, then repeat it as often as possible. It will help to prevent accidents, robberies, hijackings and other calamities. Om Shanti 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 Om Namo Bhagavate Shivanandaya 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 Om Namo Bhagavati Shivanandaya Om Triyam Bhagavan Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushtivadhanam Urvaru Kami Bhavandhanan Vrityor Mukshyamamrutat Om Triyam Bhagavan Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushtivadhanam Urvaru Kami Bhavandhanan Vrityor Mukshyamamrutat Om Triyam Bhagavan Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushtivadhanam Urvaru Kami Bhavandhanan Vrityor Mukshyamamrutat Om Triyam Bhagavan Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushtivadhanam Urvaru Kami Bhavandhanan Vrityor Mukshyamamrutat Om Triyam Bhagavan Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushtivadhanam Urvaru Kami Bhavandhanan Vrityor Mukshyamamrutat Om Triyam Bhagavan Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushtivadhanam Urvaru Kami Bhavandhanan Vrityor Mukshyamamrutat Om Triyam Bhagavan Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushtivadhanam Urvaru Kami Bhavandhanan Vrityor Mukshyamamrutat Om Triyam Bhagavan Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushtivadhanam Urvaru Kami Bhavandhanan Vrityor Mukshyamamrutat Om Triyam Bhagavan Vijamahe Sugandhim Pushtivadhanam 